Hey guys, welcome to this video. Welcome to our first yoga collaboration, Yoga for Rock Beat Players. I'm really excited to have had the opportunity to interview one of the um, professional rock beat players of Cambridge, Lawrence. He, you will see a picture of him as you start the video. Um, I've talked to him about yoga and rock beat and how yoga would help them improve their um, pre-training and also post-training, how yoga could support them in rugby and what came out is this yoga sequence that we're going to go through today just so you're aware I have a minor injury at the moment going on in my left hand so I can't really spread my fingers and do much work on there so it could very well be that you just do one side twice and you're just going to follow what I'm saying but I look really forward to that so yoga for rugby players is not just for the guys, the girls who play rugby, it's there for everyone who is um, in the area of sports and also anyone interested in yoga and just seeing how the guys, um, yeah, what their kind of main focuses are when they play rugby and the main areas of injury or tightnesses. And for today, one of the main focuses we're gonna have is the hips the low back and we're going to look at the thoracic area as well as the shoulders that can get really tight playing rugby. Another thing is that it's a game where you have a lot of stop and go. So it's not that like in soccer you're running a lot constantly, you have more of that stopping and going. I don't want to talk too much about it because with the rules I'm not fully there yet. I've watched um, the Rugby World Cup which was really amazing so slowly I get into the rules as well. But I'm here to support you, especially if you're playing rugby, and I look forward to seeing you on the mat. So, we're going to begin lying down on our back, supine meaning that you come to lie down on your back in a constructive rest. So as you lie onto your back, keep the soles of your feet grounded with your knees pointing up towards the ceiling. And then take your hands gently down onto either side of your hips. Press the back of your head down, lift the shoulders away from your ears. And as you come to lie down, really make sure you have a nice long elongated back. And then right away, let's dive into our breath. Something really important if you are in the area of sport, if you're an athlete, if you play rugby, that is probably the main focus, the main point that is driving your body or thriving your body rather throughout your games, your challenges. So as you come to lie down either with your eyes open, focusing on a single spot on the ceiling or your eyes closed to bring the awareness inward, start to breathe down into the area of your left and right hand. So we work on a diaphragmatic, a deep abdominal breath today. And we just take a few moments for you to get used to that deeper breath. So rather than having and holding the breath up in the chest, just try to draw the breath down into your hands, down into the area of your lower abdomen. Every time you inhale, see if you can breathe in a bit longer. If you can really feel the lungs to the top. Every time you're exhaling, allow the belly to soften first and then allow your rib cage to slightly soften as well as the breath is releasing and moving back out through the body. Take three more rounds here, just simple abdominal deep belly breaths here. And as we focus on pre-game, the pre-game mode of rock beat today in this sequence, we really try to heat the body up from the inside out as you're breathing. So make sure you're breathing nice and full and nice and deep. And now from here, take your hands onto either side of your ribs. So your thumbs are pointing towards the back and your fingers are kind of framing your rib cage. You will see with one hand, I can't really do it here today, but just find a comfortable position on your ribs. So you're supporting the body and you have that physical connection. Rest your elbows down. 
And now as you start to breathe in and out, rather than allowing the belly to dome up and down, see if you can breathe into the side body, into the area of your ribs. So it's more of a lateral breath as you're inhaling and exhaling now. Every time you breathe into your palms, feel your palms doming outward towards the left and right side. And every time you're inhaling, not pushing too hard, but gently move your ribcage with the help of your hands towards the center. Every time you're inhaling again, feel your ribs moving out towards the left and right side. Every time you're exhaling, allow them to soften. And then connecting all four. So whenever you're ready, and you can also pause the video, do that breathing for a lot longer. It's always super beneficial to breathe. You can now start to feel those four corners rising and falling as you breathe in and out. So as you breathe in, Imagine breathing into your back body, the lower back, as well as the belly, and also your rib cage, left and right. Like a balloon, feel the areas expanding outward. Feel the areas softening and doming inward with your exhale. If your shoulders get uncomfortable, make sure you just move your hands in an appropriate position. So, and then let's slowly release from that breath, the first breath awareness we did for today. Have a look with your fingertips that you can brush the back of your heels. That's the distance you want to have to your feet. And then really spread your toes wide for bridge pose, for a moving bridge. Inhale, lift your um, tailbone off the ground and start to ripple through the spine until you come all the way into bridge. As you might see already, I'm lifting my arms as well. So the arms are coming back behind. In rugby, we have quite a lot of broad guys, broad lads um playing this sport so maybe also for the girls who play rugby you feel quite quite trained in the upper body so just see if you can't move your arms all the way back it's practice you just take it to wherever it goes maybe the arms are further here now as you're exhaling lower the upper back the mid back your lower back as well as your arms down to the ground again. Let's take a few more rounds and open your eyes if they're still closed. Send your gaze up towards the ceiling and focus on one single point that is not moving. Breathe in, lift into bridge pose. Breathe out, lower your hands down, stretch the fingertips towards the heels. Think of creating space in the body. We take three more rounds. You're breathing in, you lengthen the arms back, you push the knees slightly forward, and on the exhale, you lower the whole body back down. Now see if you can come back to that four corner breath. So you're inhaling, breathe into your ribs, into the front and back body. So your belly is rising on the inhalation. Keep the chin to your chest and exhale slowly descend the body lower your arms also back down if you can work with your hands fully also spread through the fingers look toward your knees toward your navel as you lift up bridge pose exhale lower down let's bring a bit more speed into that one more round inhale lift all the way up and exhale gently release vertebra by vertebra ripple through the spine Beautiful work. Now we're going to lift back into bridge pose, but keep your head on the floor and, or your arms rather on the floor and shuffle your shoulders in towards one another underneath your back. Take your hands and place them either towards either side of your ribs or maybe towards your chest, wherever you can comfortably place them. Now press into your right foot and extend the left leg up towards the ceiling. See if you can lightly open that left foot out to the side and then bring it back to center. Let's flex the foot actually. Slowly drop the left leg down. We start to open the hips. One of the areas that needs to be warmed up for the game, press into the right heel, slightly open the right heel, also activating the core, really important for any impacts that are gonna happen, and release it down. I'm gonna take one more round, inhale, push through the heel, lift, flex the toes, start to move the leg out, keep on flexing, see how far you can move the leg out to the side, and then slowly come back. This is hard. Press through your upper arms. Make sure you have a good hold here. 
right heel is lifting, hips are lifting, and then open the leg. You can also follow the big toe with your gaze, and then slowly release. Come all the way back, and then a slower out of bridge pose. Hold on to opposite um, wrists as you wrap the knees, or bring the knees up towards your chest. Gently massage the back body, and then take your hands towards the back of your thighs, and rock up and down your spine a few times. Really good, again, to bring some movement into the body here. And then, maybe after your third one or so, you can come all the way up. And now for a supported side plank, we're gonna lower down onto the right arm. Have your elbow underneath your shoulder, your palm forward, spread through the fingers. You have a nice, good grip to the mat. Stretch your legs away from the body. You can either have one leg forward or your feet on top of one another. Now from here, take your hand onto the left hip. Take a moment to look down. Make sure you're really firmly pressing down into the ground. And then once you're ready, inhale. Start to lift the body off the mat. So you're in a supported side plank. We start to energize the core. Again, a really important part of where you, as a rugby player or as a yogi, have to be ready and present. Draw your navel into your spine. Push the heels away. If you want to go further from here, lift the left arm and stretch your arm above the head creating strength in the body, creating length through the left side of your torso, the left ribs. You can look down, you can keep your gaze forward. Maybe you're looking up towards your fingertips and keep lifting the hips here. If you wanna challenge the body, creating more heat, lift the left foot, press the heel away, or if you feel a bit wobbly, just take it down and keep on breathing. Take one more inhale. One more exhale here, very, very nice. And then let's take a moment to lower down. Now this one I can't fully show because of my hand, but come onto your right fingertips, your right palm, and just lift your body. So you still have the um, right hip fully on the mat, but you're lifting the body, trying to stretch the right side of your torso here lightly. Flex the toes towards you. Keep really lifting, lifting, lifting here. Very nice, let's move on to the other side. To do that, you can swing your legs straight forward or you can just roll yourself around on your mat. Bring your left hand underneath you. Flex your toes, have your hips in line with your heels. Either with your right hand forward as support or with your hand on the hip, let's take a full connection, a full breath in here, and then let's start to lift yourselves up. If you're shaking, I always say that's good, you feel you're alive. Maybe one side is more tricky, but keep breathing, keep working on lifting the hip towards the ceiling. Neck is nice and long. So another area in rugby with the shoulders that can get tight. Make sure you lengthen that space now. Lift your arm above the head, keep breathing, keep lifting the hip. Create space here in the side body, the right side torso. Take one more full breath, lift, lift, lift. You can always lift your right heel if you want to challenge yourself. Very, very nice and then slowly, slowly release. Lift yourselves onto the left hand and try to really push all five fingers down as you lift your body. Keep grounding through that left hip. Notice if you need to tuck your tailbone under a bit more here to support your low back. And just feel if you need to lean more to the right, push yourselves further to the right to feel that side body stretch here. Take another diaphragmatic breath here, a deep inhale, a nice long exhale. Very, very nice, and then let's slowly release. We're gonna come up into gate pose. So from here, and you can face the front of your mat, just make sure you can see me well. Come into tabletop, fingertips underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and then stretch the left leg away from the body. And your knee is roughly in line with the middle of your foot here. Again, this is my weaker hand at the moment. I come onto my fingertips, but you press your palm firmly down onto the ground. 
rock the shoulder forward over the wrist and then breathe in and extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. Find that first opening here. And again, this is to open the side body and also to move into the shoulders. This part of our practice now will be quite dynamic, moving in and out, because it's important as a rugby player that you get the joints heated up, you get the body moving, because again, it's a lot of stop and go, so we want to warm the body up now. Breathe in, look towards your left fingertips, for thread the needle, reach that left arm underneath the right and hover the left shoulder down to the ground. Four more rounds, inhale, breathe in, lift up, Exhale, thread the needle. Three more rounds. Keep leaning the shoulder forward so you stay in a tabletop pose. Exhale, reach underneath and over. Two more rounds. Press into the left foot, reach up, stay stable through the body, but feel that nice warm up on the left side. Inhale. And exhale, underneath and over. Now come up. Take your hands off the floor for gate pose. Place your left hand down onto, your up, onto the same leg and lift your right arm out and up. Fingertips are facing that leg. Reach and lengthen. And then for your side body stretch, take the body all the way over and relax the head and the neck completely. Again here, slightly tuck the tailbone under so you're supported in your low back. And just give, give it your all. How much can you stretch here? Breathing in and out, feeling the right side body opening. Again, an area which in rugby you're not really getting to open unless you're jumping for the ball and then you will need it, that opening. Take one more breath here. And then release. Come all the way to center. Let's move on to the other side. Extend your right leg away from you. Left knee under the hip. Firmly press your left hand down, rock the shoulder forward, soft bend in your elbow, and then let's start to move. Inhale, and actually we stayed here for quite a long time in the first, on the first side. So just get used to that opening. Work on bringing the hand a bit further past, um, past your point where you could move, but in a, in a careful way here. So with your breath exploring how far you can go. And then let's move, inhale, look up towards your right hand. Exhale, thread the needle. Four more rounds, breathe and lengthen the body. Breathe out, lower your right shoulder to the ground. Three more rounds. Keep your focus here, keep your focus present. Another really important thing in rugby is our focus. I've lost count. <laughs> Let's take one more round. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. Exhale for thread the needle. Come all the way back to center. Lift yourselves up for your gate pose. Drop your right hand onto the leg. Tuck your tailbone under. Lift your left hand up. Flip the palm to face the opposite side and then reach it up and overhead. How much can you press into the outer edge of your right foot and stretch the hand towards that side of your mat? Breathe into the area of where you're feeling that opening. Let's take one more inhale, one more exhale, relax the shoulders, keep your face relaxed. Beautiful work. And then from here, let's come all the way back to center. Now we've done a supported side plank. We come into our full version and I can only do that with my left hand or it's my right hand, but I mirror you. So I'm gonna do the same side twice. You start with your left hand and we're gonna start in a supported version. So you could again come down onto your forearm or you can come into that side body stretch. Flex the toes if you feel ready to go into your side plank. Start to pick the hips fully off the ground Find your stability by really keeping the feet glued together, by lifting the heart, the chest, so your body is really in a nice long line. And then again, left arm is reaching, and then maybe above the head to the ear. Lift your body, build strength in the core, so wherever you breathe down, that area wants to really fire up. You can then 
maybe try, start to lift your right leg, flex the toes. Maybe it's too much and you bring it down. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, lift, lift, lift through the hips. And exhale, nice and slowly release. I'm just changing sides so you will see maybe how it looks from this side angle or from this angle rather. Again, this time it's to your right side. Feet are flexed on top of one another. You can stay here. You can do your forearm plank, side plank or in the side plank version or you're gonna lift up. Wherever you are, don't think too much. Lift, squeeze through the glutes slightly. Lift the hand up towards the ceiling, left arm this time, and then reach it above the ear. I'm not gonna talk too much here because we all need to breathe. The breath is so important to fire the body up. Keep your focus, keep your strength, collect yourselves for your game that is coming up or for your day. One more inhale, one more exhale. Beautiful work. And then slowly, slowly release. Take a moment to cross your legs and then rotate through the wrists. Change direction. Shake your wrists, your palms out here. And then let's come up into tabletop. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips and step the left foot forward now into your low lunge. Make sure your knees are hip width apart, front knee above the front ankle. Come onto your fingertips and allow your hips to really drop down here. Lengthen the chest, the heart forward. And again, we are in the dynamic phase of our practice, so we don't stay here for too long. We're gonna start moving in and out of low lunge and our half splits. Breathe in here, lengthen. Breathe out, flex the left toes and move your hip back towards that right heel. Let's start to move in and out. We're gonna take 10 here, so you need to be ready. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out to move back. If it helps you to exhale through the mouth, you could also inhale and take a cleansing breath. Exhale through the mouth. Let's keep counting, fourth round. Breathe in, lower the hips down, press into your feet. Exhale, stretch those hamstrings. So this one when we come forward is for the hips. This one when we move back, half split is for the hamstrings. And have a look that your body stays in centered center and with every round maybe you feel you can move slightly further or slightly in a different angle let's inhale coming forward i think we are at seven so we take three more inhale ground your feet press through them exhale flex the left toes inhale come forward look up and exhale flex the toes reach the hips back one more cycle. Roll forward, come back into your low lunge. Take your hand, right hand underneath the shoulder and extend your left arm up towards the skies. For today, you're really allowed to lean into those hips, but to use some muscular strength still, press your back shin firmly down and your front foot towards the ground as well. Take your right palm a bit further out so you have space for thread the needle. Inhale, look to your left hand. Exhale, thread the needle, reach underneath the right arm. Four more rounds, breathe in. Left knees pointing forward. Exhale, lower the left shoulder down. Start to open up through the upper body now. Three more. Get a bit quicker. For the last two rounds, inhale, one more fast one. Exhale, underneath and over. Beautiful work from here. Come all the way back through to center and then let's change sides. So you lift the right knee, turn your hands over to the right side of your mat and then you're moving towards the back of your yoga mat and then magically you're on the other side with the right knee forward, left knee back in your lower lunge. Again, the hips in rugby are an area where when you're running, your hip flexes 
your psoas muscle is always doing the same movement. So you're not really opening up the hips, but it's a really important area of being flexible. So you're also um, preventing any injuries from happening. So let's frame the front foot with the fingertips. Point the right knee forward, engage your back leg, open your heart, your chest for 10 rounds. Let's inhale with or without the cleansing breath. Exhale, flex the right toes. Inhale, look forward and up. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Let's take eight more rounds, roll forward, activate your feet. Exhale, come back, flex the left toes. And I'm just lifting my hands because of my palms, so don't worry about that. You're moving with the hands down, create space in your hamstrings, create space in your hips. And as we move through a few more rounds, see if you can flex your toes more, if you can direct the hips back towards the end of your mat once you come into your half splits. Find length in your spine as well. And again, see if you can stay really focused, really present with your movement and how your body is feeling. Let's take three more. Hope the counting is right, otherwise do a few more. It's usually however you're feeling. Two more. Whenever you come into a stretch, you try to exhale. So our hamstring stretch is our exhale. Breathe in, come forward. And breathe out. Hamstring stretch. Now from here, roll onto the right foot. Take your hand to the inside of your foot. Walk yourselves through center. I'm going to turn around in a moment, but you're just going to lower the body down in a wide-legged forward fold. So for this version, you can have your feet as wide apart as you like to. And start to bend one knee at a time. If your hands are a bit far off the ground, just have your elbows on your thighs. And again, we try to warm up the hips in different angles or into different directions. And I just realized we need to catch up on one more exercise. So from here, walk your hands back into your lower lunge with the right foot forward. Thread the needle, that's what we forgot on this side. Left hand underneath your shoulder, your hips might feel more open now though. Extend your right arm up, let's inhale here. And exhale, reach the right arm underneath the left. Four more rounds, inhale, breathe and open. Exhale, bow and stretch. Three more to go, a bit more dynamic. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, stretch. One more round, breathe in. And breathe out. Beautiful work. Now from here we have the right foot forward already. Ground your left toes onto the mat. And for, low, for high lunge, rather from low lunge, lift the left knee and then lift your upper body all the way off the ground. Extend your arms up towards the skies, allow your shoulders to soften, and just see if you can lift your back heel slightly more. If you tend to arch quite a lot, bend your knee, but I think for everyone here will be different, it will look different if you're a rugby player, maybe your hips don't feel as open, so you could bend that back knee even more. Reach through the fingertips. And now we're gonna start a flow. So we're gonna combine two different postures. This is our high lunge. Now ground your back heel down onto the mat, open your arms and you're in warrior two. Back foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat. This is mainly focusing again on our hips, the different angles of our hips. Look forward over your front fingers and just look at one spot that could be the right um the right fingernail or it can be somewhere in the distance so you're narrowing your focus already here and then let's move in and out a couple more times so turn onto your left toes arms come forward and up into high lunge inhale sink your hips low exhale warrior two 
inhale one more round again this one you could repeat you could do more often exhale Warrior two. bring your feet parallel open your left foot and then we're going to turn into high lunge on the other side feet are hip width it just allows your hips to open more and then raise your arms above the head keep your shoulders relaxed here draw your ribs slightly in so you're supporting your abdominal wall you're engaging the core belly button to the spine and then again let's start to flow on this side drop your back heel down and you will feel if it's comfortable if you need to adjust your foot in warrior two arms are nice and long open that left knee further to the left side of your mat and breathe two more inhale turn into warrior or sorry into high lunge your chest is moving forward and then you're turning the body open you're opening the hips for warrior two inhale back into your high lunge and exhale warrior two from here one more round inhale high lunge keep your balance your focus and exhale warrior two bring your feet parallel to one another now turn your left toes out the movement we've done before we're going to go a bit more into the depth of this one so for surface lunge just rest your hands anywhere you like you could hold opposite elbows and press your elbows to your hands that allows your um, back muscles to soften a bit and then bend your left knee forward or your right if I mirror you let's say you bend the left knee you sink into the hips you just do one side and then the other you come back to center feet parallel you turn one foot out and you bend into that leg let's combine it to the breath connect it to the breath inhale exhale big stretch inhale feet parallel turn one toes out one side of the toes out exhale down one more round shoulders are soft you might feel it can go a bit deeper press into the opposite leg beautiful beautiful work and then from here come back to center release your hands let's heel toe the feet all the way back together and then from here come come down onto your ground we're going to lower our whole front body down onto the mat and i like this one in yoga it's called locust pose apparently in rugby it's called skydiver so whichever posture you can choose out of those two whatever you want to call it lower your forehead down bring your whole body down onto the ground and then let's gently rock the hips side to side release the shoulders a little bit by rocking the head left and right Extend your arms as far forward as you can without lifting the shoulders to the ears. Stretch your big toes as far back as you can. Let's take an in-breath here. And an out-breath. With the next inhale, you're preparing. And now with the next exhale, we're going to start lifting. So whenever you're ready, on the exhale, lift your feet, lift your front body of the mat. Skydiver or locust pose, hover the body of the mat. Keep your gaze down so your neck is nice and long. Breathe into the whole shape of your body and try to lift your toes, lift your chest off the mat. Let's inhale and let's exhale, soften for a moment. Can breathe in with your next out breath squeeze your glutes lightly lift the legs lift the arms off the mat reach the fingertips forward reach the feet back create length in the body core activation and also for you guys a really good back strengthener inhale one more breath exhale to release One more final round, take a full breath in. Whenever you're ready, as far as you can, as high as you can, lift the body of the mat, press into your hips, lift the feet, reach the hands forward, turn your head to the left shoulder, turn your head to the right shoulder, roll your neck slightly left and right, challenge the body, can you lift a little bit higher? And then slowly, slowly release, well done. We're not going to come into a cool down. It's a pre-game 
um, practice. So from here, bring yourselves up into a comfortable seated posture. If you wanna carry on working on opening the hips, you might do that with your cross-legged seat. And then just take a moment to align the head over the heart, the heart over your pelvis. Lengthen your spine. And our last part of this practice is yoga for the rugby focus or yoga for your focus if you're in a different part um, of the game, different part of the um, field of life. But we can all need some more focus. And in rugby, whenever you have to do a kick, you have like these thousands, thousands of people around you. And it's a lot of pressure on you and a lot of, um, or a quick short amount of time where you have to collect yourself, bring your focus into that um, place between those two poles. So that's what we're gonna try and do now. Mental training. So I would like you to choose a spot out in front of you. It can be leveled, it can be higher, it can be lower. But choose this one small point. It can be color, it can be a writing, just something out in front. It's a small point. And then direct your full attention, your full focus towards that single area out in front of you. Become really clear of seeing this area, what you're seeing and where you're sending your focus toward. As you focus on this small point out in front, allow yourselves to drop any distraction, anything that is happening around you. If you're in rugby, this might be the other players, it might be the crowd, so you're just becoming aware of this single focus out in front of you. You're staring at this spot, you mentally prepare yourself to draw your full awareness down onto that area. Now take three deep breaths in and out as you're still looking onto this, onto, onto this one single spot. When we breathe, when we send more oxygen into the body, we activate the brain, we activate the brain to focus. So allow your body to, to take in all of that good nourishing air. Now, if you're in rugby, imagine yourself and this ball. You have to kick that ball into that small area between those poles. And you're mentally preparing yourself. If you're somewhere else in your life, you're just allowing yourself to become so focused that everything around you, whatever is in the room around you, becomes tiny and small. This is the area where you focus on. This is your single point of focus for today. Allow your body to calm down by breathing nice and deep. Allow your shoulders to relax and notice your physical body literally dropping, but your focus becomes stronger and stronger. You're mentally becoming stronger. As you still have your eyes just on this single spot, Notice the impact it has when you can focus. Do you feel more strength within the body? Do you feel any changes, any shifts? Feel free to do this practice for as long as you like. You focus on a spot, you breathe, you allow your body to practice that. And whenever you are ready, in yoga, we take the hands in front of the heart, bow to ourselves. You can do that as well. You've done amazing, guys. Thank you so much for practicing. Good luck with your rugby game or whatever you have coming up. And I'm really curious to hear any feedback if you're a professional rugby player or if you have any experience with rugby. And also otherwise, hopefully it felt really good on your body, your mind and soul. Thank you so much for tuning in. Namaste. Mm -hmm.